In principle, injection molding is simple. Melt plastic, inject it into a mold, let it cool, and then out pops a plastic product. Next is, next is a draft. Draft is the angle between the part and the ejection. Angle between the part ejection direction and the surface of the part. The draft angle is 0.5. From this ejection direction, means the cooling direction. Provide draft. Why drop is over on the part? Provide drop to part for the easily ejection of the part from the mold during the marine manufacturing. The recommended drop angle in plastic design is minimum 0 .0 0.5 degree to maximum 3 degree. A very important aspect of mold design is the draft angle. If a part has walls that are exactly 90 degrees, it will be very difficult to eject because its inner walls will scrape the core half of the mold. Also, the vacuum will be difficult to break because air cannot readily enter. However, if the walls are slightly tapered, even just one or two degrees, it becomes much easier for the part to be removed because once the part moves slightly, the walls are no longer in contact with the core half and air can rush in. Remains their draft angle. The outside of a Lego brick must be square. So if you cut a Lego brick in half, you can see that these inner supports are thicker at the top than at the bottom. There's a draft angle of about one and a half degrees. This helps the ejector pins push the brick off the mold. This is the example. Part with no draft and part with draft. This is the incorrect object. Draft is not given on this part. And the draft is given on this part. This is a incorrect object, this is a 0 0.5 and then degree trap is given on this part. This is a part, this is a uh, read picture, this is a 0 0.5 trap is given on this leg, this is a screw, this is a 0 0.5 degree trap is given. Next is corner or radius. Provide radius for easy flow of molten plastic inside the mold and reduce stress concentration of part. Why this corner is given on this part? Because for easy flow of molten plastic inside the mold and reduce the stress concentration of part. Internal radius should be at least 0.5 and preferably 0.6 to 0.7.5 times the wall thickness. This is a too thick, too thin wall. This is a too thick wall. This is a correct example of corner. This formula used in plastic and sheet metal parts. R2 is equal to R1 plus 2. This is R2, this is R1, and this is a 3 This R2 radius is equal to R2 
R1 plus C or C is equal to R2 minus R1 next is read this is the fourth this is plastic grain fragment with the read this is the structure of this read reads are added to improve the strength of the part strength of the design reads increase the strength of design and reads can improve the melt flow reads can also be used in locating features reads are used for locating features also reads thickness should be 50 to 60 percent of this part thickness or all thickness this depends on material properties next is parting line this is last design by then parting line parting line divides the part into core half and cavity half molds always have at least two parts and where the parts of the mold meet is called the parting line here on this piece of cutlery, you see the parting line along the side of the fork. When mold halves close, they are never perfectly aligned, nor do they have sharp corners. This creates a noticeable parting line on the molded object. Another, the core half and the cavity half of Lego molds are designed so that the parting line is at the bottom edge of the brick. This hides the parting line. Look